Youth, Sports, and E-Governance Minister Kevin Bernard is resolute on his mission to improve services and empower the youth across the country. In a recent trip to Hamburger Ski, Bernard said that despite the limited resources, he wants to make an impact on the lives of as many young people as possible. My main purpose of being here in San Pedro is to familiarize myself uh, with, the, with the, the staff here, but at the, at the same time to hear from them, uh, to hear from others uh, what are some of the things that they feel uh, needs to be done uh, in terms of youth service whether, and also in sports. Uh, there are many limitations due to the pandemic. However, we must prepare for the future. And knowing, and as I was saying at the meeting there, knowing uh, Minister Bernard, uh, he has an impeccable track record of making things happen. We have a wide variety of talent of young people here in San Pedro be it in sports, be it in, in the services that they provide here. They're leading in many different examples. Accompanying the minister on the tour was the acting director of the Department of Youth Services, Kevin Cato, who speaks of the new structure and services of the department for which access will be provided. We have the behavior modification and conflict management services, the youth counseling and wellness services, the governance, data research, and planning services. We have the Belize Training Institutes consisting of the Western Region, the Central Region, and the Northern Region Training Institutes. Currently in the, the Department of Youth Services, we also have the Entrepreneurship and On-the-Job Skills Training Services, as well as the Youth Technology and arts services. National Sports Council Director Ian Carl says that he is looking at new ways to engage young people through esports and tourism sports to encourage international athletes. We're here in San Pedro, mainly to build a partnership with the, the air representative and as well with the, with the town council. As, um, as many people know that the National Sports Council didn't have any actual representation here in the island. So our focus in the restructuring of the of the department and the restructuring of the ministry is that we need to have representation all, in all the country. So San Pedro cannot be left out. What we want to do is we want to bring focus on the different sports disciplines here in San Pedro, what San Pedro has to offer when it comes to sports, but as well how best we can work along with the local community, local leaders to bring that out. Dwayne Moody for News 5.